What's up? Ah, next mission. I gotta get this thing all taken apart, cut up, and um, scrapped, and then sold. So uh, this is gonna be a mission. I got a lot of stuff I gotta do. So I'm just gonna start with this top for now, and I got a lot more to go. Well, one thing I can do is just start taking the uh, siding off right now. Well, since yesterday, the temperatures dropped and uh, it's got a little colder outside. Anyhow, uh, yeah, so I got to continue working on this. I got a little bit of it off yesterday and um, it's just not fun and exciting, but we're going to try to make it fun and exciting. So, so this is where we're at. Still no trailer. Um, I had some really good ones, um, I thought, but... Uh, right now I gotta go get the landing ramp taken apart and try and get some uh, money for that so I can get a trailer. So let's go do this. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Definitely got a lot colder out since um, since the other day at the mini or not minios but the winter ramp. So anyhow, let me get over here to this thing and let's go cut it up. I don't know, it's about twenty thousand dollars worth of money invested in this thing over the years, and, and now I'm just gonna cut it all up. <laughs> let's do it. Started on it yesterday, started taking the sides off. So this whole top piece right here, it actually hinges up like that. There was a jack in there that actually it's right there. Automatic jack, what I used. That, that raised that up to make that a lot bigger. Uh, it's actually disconnected by some bolts over here and some hinges. I might just try and take those off and get the truck and just drag the whole thing off. I don't know, might be a little dangerous, but I guess that's the name of the game, right? Whoops. Well, I didn't get. I had to charge my phone, but uh, got the top side or this side of the wings cut off. There they are. So I'll just keep on working at it. All right, next, I'll go ahead and cut these. These actually flip out this way, so uh, I'll cut those off. And, uh, yeah, just keep cutting away. on here there it is and then I'll undo this one Ooh. All right. I'll do the same thing over here Cutting blade breaks. Don't want that. Oh, more lizards and frogs. Come on, guys. 
This is the last one before those big guys down there. There we go. Geronimo. So I'm getting them off, but I got these these two big ones. Um, this is going to be entertaining. Start to warm up now. Get my beanie off soon, but this is <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. So my thought is go ahead and cut the hinges. There's four of them. Then maybe hook a chain up there, then hook it in my truck, and then just drive really fast that way. And just kind of yank it off and let it hit the ground. This is my first thought. So this is the part, I actually had to put the wheel back on, where I think I'm gonna lean that up against the tail light and the tire there. That way when I cut it off and I snatch it, the corner don't hit the tire or anything. That's the plan, that's the hopes. I didn't know it was there, just in case. Okay, so I got all three of them cut, as you can see there, it's all separated. And I got this last one down here, and I'm gonna cut that, I'll stuff some boards in here so that that's gonna slide down. But then it'll be completely broke loose, and then uh, we gotta get it off here. I'm gonna put another thing up down there, because it'd be my luck, that tire would get hit or something. For those of you wondering, <clears throat> you know, I'm cutting that big giant chunk of steel up that's that's the old metal landing ramp we used to land on the metal light ramps and now we have those bags but yeah this is what it replaced right here look so instead of that big giant chunk of steel we have this big giant blow-up house basically there it is uh, we'll go this way <laughs> just a little smack all she wrote. Now we gotta get her off. I'm gonna take a short little break and uh, figure out what I wanna do if I'm gonna snatch this thing off. I'm, I'm probably thinking that just because it seems like it'd be funner than just pushing it off. But then again, sometimes, you know, vicious and delicious just have to get to work and I ain't got time to do all the other stuff. So, I don't know. I'll get back with you here in a bit. So, so here's what I came up with. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a strap on the top of the wing right up there, right there. I'm just gonna use my my muscles and I'm gonna pull it because I think it shouldn't be too hard and then it'll kind of come down and slide off and that should be entertaining. I'm gonna go ahead and move my truck though so uh, it don't get smashed.
a little closer. Got uh, all this cut. Let me get over here. Get that one cut. I'm gonna try and do the same thing. Just maybe. Oh, there it goes. Sweet. All right, now I gotta pull this one off. Let's do it. So what stopped me was that hinge right there. So I'm gonna pry it up and over and then do the same thing I did with that one. All right, let's try it. Time to do this one. So the curiosity is how much weight is all this metal gonna bring? I'm not sure how heavy it all is, but <laughs> it's heavy. Um, here eventually we're gonna cut it up and then take it to the scrapyard. We'll find out how much we get, or well, how much it weighs and how much we get, so. Well, I realized I didn't have a ladder, so I'm gonna use this, <laughs> this bike ramp to get up there and get this off. Well, all right, I'm up inside here. Started unscrewing the bolts, but then I was like, man, I think I can just kick it off, so I just want to try. Hmm. Not working that easy. No success. I guess I bolted it on there pretty good. Take the bolts out. Okay, okay. Yeah, see, once that raised up, this armor here went down. There's a support, but. <sighs> Okay, so my plan is this. I have this chain here. I'll be able to explain more later when I go underneath, but the idea, hook it right there like that. All right. I got to undo the bolt down there, down here, and then it's just sitting there. And then I'm gonna try and pull it off. Wish me luck. Okay, yeah, so like I said, once I disconnect those bolts, it just rests right here. So the thought is, I'll get this chain. You saw where I hooked up there. I'll get another strap, then hook that to the truck, and pull it, and this is a That's the idea. Because uh, if you look here, like, you see? I can't pull it from down low. So like I said, these arms swing down like that. So basically when this goes up, that arm will be straight up and down right there. This goes up a lot higher. So I'm gonna take that off and then I'm gonna, this is where it really gets sketchy. So uh, I'll explain that here in a minute. So these things right here, 
they slide out like that. Oops. I'm not sure we saw it, but anyway, let's do this. Let's slide out. Like that, and that's what the wings flipped over and rested on. But we're getting them out of here. Alright, so that wasn't coming out too easy, so it's just gonna stay. Now, here is what gets sketchy. So I'm gonna undo that bolt there, undo that bolt there, and then there's nothing holding this other than what I'm gonna do with this. So my thoughts this. Grab this, wedge it right there, and then, oh yeah, wedge it right there. Uh, I'll get the hammer and knock it a little bit better, and uh, and that should hold it until I pull it off. Now hopefully I can get these bolts out. Uh. This way, so the channel locks on. What do you call it? Back to this is delicious. Okay, well, I'm, first of all, I'm standing on my my ramp as a ladder. Got this bolt loose. I haven't taken it out yet because once I take it out, it's completely free. And all I got is this brace right here holding it, and a brace right there. So uh, we're gonna take this bolt out, and then uh, we're gonna hook the truck up and see what happens. I mean, wish me luck. So I had the brilliant idea of, like I said, I'm gonna hook the chain up. Well, I got it hooked up and I'm going to oh, bring the truck over. Like I said, I think if I pull it, it's gonna happen. I want it to like flip over and boom, right there, but it's just me, one man band. Let's see what happens. I was just thinking I probably better move this propane tank. My luck, something to hit it and let it go flying. It'll be alright over there. Probably best to move these batteries in this jack and all this other stuff too. Ugh. <laughs> Oof. Okay, um, I'm gonna take another break and uh, when I get done and come back, we're gonna, we're gonna see what happens. Yank it out there one way or another. Not really sure what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna try and set my camera up so that uh, we can just watch the carnage unfold.
so that didn't work. I think what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna cut these out on that side and then just snatch it. Snatch it out of there. That's one thing I can do. So I did, I cut that out. I'm gonna do the same over there, cause that's what was holding it. I'm gonna try and snatch it. See what happens then. Alright, so I'm gonna knock that little tab out. Grab this right here. Oh, that thing's gonna come if I take that off. Okay, now I'm gonna snatch it off. It's a little ledge. Snatch it. Come Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> <laughs>